skill you it's gonna, it's gonna make you to be independent it's gonna make you to be a confident woman that is what most people they don't even want to come out of this domestic violent marriages why because they believe that you're gonna suffer by the time they leave it they do not have the skill to hold on but by the time you have a skill i tell you no man is gonna do shakara for you no man is gonna use you as anything Many women today have been insulted in their marriages because they are independent. Because all they want is on a man. They cannot live, they cannot feed without a man feeding them. They cannot buy their own this without a man feeding them. Isn't it so appalling that you are in the house of a man and yet you cannot even cook a pot of soup until your husband comes back home? You want to buy Maggie in the house and you go to Mama Risi in the street and then you tell her, please give me 10 naira Maggie. By the time my, my husband comes back, I'm going to pay. Who does that? It's high time for you to rise up. It's high time for you to be empowered as a woman. It's high time for you to take the bull by the horn. It's time, high time for you to be energetic. Hello and welcome back once again to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at domestic violence. This is a very serious issue that has often occurred and is still happening. For how long are we going to remain in domestic abusive uh, marriages and then still derive in our quest for long life, in our quest for happy living? Now, as a woman, your duty is to respect your husband, take care of your children and be a woman indeed. But a situation whereby you do all these things and yet this man goes out to drink and then comes back to abuse you sexually, mentally, emotionally and every aspect of your life. What do you do? Should you say because you want to remain in marriage? Should you say because you want to take care of your children and then remain in an abusive marriage? Don't get me wrong, I'm not a feminist and I'm not talking about feminism right now. But I'm talking about you fighting for your long life. You fighting for your sustainability. A situation where you come across a marriage that is abusive, a marriage that does not offer you anything good, a marriage that does not respect your dignity as a woman. we're going to be talking about today domestic violence domestic violence is something that has killed a lot of women a lot of women have suffered today because they just want to remain in the husband's house but is that all to life you could stay alone and then still raise a woman you still raise responsible ladies raise responsible men that god has given to you hold on i'm not talking about feminism i am not a feminist I do not advocate that women should speak against their husband, should stand up to their husband when it's not necessary. But I am against any woman. I am against any man who would lay his hands on you, use you as a punching bag, despite everything you've done for him, despite carrying a child for nine months, even if you don't have anything seriously to offer him. The fact that you carried a child for nine months in your womb is enough to, for him to show you respect. Dear young lady, that you got pregnant out of wedlock does not mean the world is on your head. Does not mean you should carry the cardinal point on your head. That is the least problem you could ever have. And now, he got you pregnant but because you do want the world to know that you do not have a husband. You decided that, okay, you're going to get married to him. You're going to get, get married to a drunkard. You're going to get married to a wife beater. You're going to get married to someone who does not even love you. But it was after your body. It was after your body that was why he slept with you before marriage and impregnated you. 
hold on you're making a big mistake you're making a big mistake because by the time you end up in this house it's gonna use you as a punching bag he will lead you to your early grave remember there was a time he beat, beat you miss, mercilessly like he gave you the baddest wound of your life and you continued on why because of the of the name love because you want to feel like, like people that have a boyfriend like people that have a girlfriend you want to belong now he has impregnated you and yet you've forgotten the things he did to you in the past and you want to remain in that marriage pregnancy is not an excuse to remain in a violent home it's not an excuse to remain in a violent relationship why don't you take the bull by the horn come out of there take care of your child yes take care of your child and if you're already caught in a domestic marriage there is nothing for you to remain there there is nothing for you to remain in the, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a domestic violent marriage if you do not want to die here don't get me wrong I'm not saying you should leave your husband. I'm not saying you should divorce. Stepping out of your way in order to save your life it is, is not divorce. Why don't you just take the bull by the horn, get yourself something doing, and take care of your children if you have children already. And if you don't have children already, you're, you're on a safer side. Why don't you just come out? Speak out. Do not close your mouth. Do not want people to do. Do not think that by the time you open up, people are gonna say ill things about you. Do not allow the the, 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 the so-called safe marriages on social media to allow you to hide the man that is using you as a punching bag. Speak out. Tell the world about your condition and let them help you. Now, this is why I tell every young woman: try to be independent. Try to acquire a skill even before you go into marriage. If you acquire a skill, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you to be independent. It's going to make you to be a confident woman. That is most people, they don't even want to come out of this domestic violent marriages. Why? Because they believe that you're going to suffer by the time they leave it. They do not have a skill to hold on. But by the time you have a skill, I tell you, no man is going to do shakara for you. No man is going to use you as anything. Many women today have been insulted in their marriages because they are dependent. Because all they want is on a man. They cannot live, they cannot feed without a man feeding them. They cannot buy their undies without a man feeding them. Isn't it so appalling that you are in the house of a man and yet you cannot even cook a pot of soup until your husband comes back home? You want to buy Maggie in the house and you go to Mama Risi in the street and then you tell her, please give me 10 naira Maggie. By the time my, my husband comes back, I'm going to pay. Who does that? It's high time for you to rise up. It's high time for you to be empowered as a woman. It's high time for you to take the bull by the horn. It's time, high time for you to be energetic. Build up yourself. I've told everyone I know, build up yourself. Your, your, your singlehood is a time for you to develop yourself so that by the time you face these things in your marriages you will know how to stand independently and stay, stay strong I'm gonna stop here we are talking about domestic violence and if you're going through this it is time for you to come out I'm not saying you should divorce your marriage it is time for you to come out and then live a beautiful life thank you